Hi, I'm George, and this is how to make custom Minecraft 1.18.1 texture packs. We're doing this here inside of Minecraft Java. And there are a few things that you need to do to get set up for this. We'll be taking a look at the pack MC meta file, at the pack PNG icon file, and how to make a complete pack, and then install that pack, load that pack into Minecraft, and see how it works inside of your Minecraft world. Okay, switch over to the desktop, and we'll begin getting this set up. Here we are on my desktop, and the first thing you need to do is to make a folder to build everything in. I have one here on my C drive, I just called it Packs. Nothing special about that. And then I also have my own custom pack PNG file in here. This just shows up when you see the list of resource packs in the game. That's the only place it shows up. If you want to have your own, it's simple. It's just a square image right there. It's a PNG, and I have mine at 256 by 256 pixels. You can go down to 120 by 128, but 256 by 256 has more detail. So I like that better. So you can make your own one of these. Or if you don't want to do that, you can just use a grass block one. I'll show you where you can get that in just a bit here. Okay, now we need to get the jar file. So for that, let's open up the launcher. There we go. Now go up here where it says installations. And here, click on one of these folders. It doesn't matter which one you click on. They all go to the exact same place. So click on one of our folders right there and open this up. Now in here... You want to come down to the versions folder. It's right down there. Open that up. And here you'll see all the different versions. We'll be making this for 1.18.1. So I'll go into this, open this up, and you want that jar file. Now, if you're not seeing the .jar or the .json, go up here to the view tab and right over here, put a check mark right there where it says find them extensions. You'll then see that .jar. Okay, take the .jar, right drag it over here, and copy into your working folder. Okay, that's good. Let's now back up a second here. Now you also need the pack mc meta file that's no longer included inside of the jar files but if you have an earlier version like 116.5 up here you can get it from that so i'll go inside here let's just grab that 116.5 jar here as well and i'll copy that that's one way to get the pack mc meta another way is to download it i'll talk about that in just a minute here we now need to convert these over into zip files it's easy to do just click into the name like that and then type over the dot jar and make it say zip there we go Say yes, and over here, same thing, just type over the dot .jar, make it say dot .zip, just like that, and choose yes. Okay, now let's open this one up here. We'll get the pack MC meta first. Right click, open a new window. There we go. Now inside here, there's this big long list, and I have my view set on details for this. Scroll way down, down into the P section down here. Right there, there's your pack MC meta, and here's the pack PNG if you want to use that dirt block one. We need this pack MC meta, right drag it over here and copy. And again, if you don't want to, or you don't have the 116.5, you can just download this from my website, same thing. Okay, let's close that down. Now we need to find our texture block. So go over here to the 118.1, right click, open in new window. There we go, go into the assets folder, into the Minecraft folder, come down here to the textures folder, go inside of that one, and then up here into the block folder, right there, and I'm going to change my view here to large icons. Now you don't see anything in here because this is inside of a zip file. But I'll go ahead and I'll show you which one that you want to get. And a site block right here. So right drag it over and copy. There we go. Okay, so we have our block. Now I need to make this folder structure up here. So I'm going to put this just like that so I can see it. And let's take this folder and bring it down just below so I can see that folder structure right there. We need to recreate these folders down here in our working folder. Okay, so new folder, assets. There we go, inside of assets, new folder, Minecraft. Inside of Minecraft, new folder, textures. There we are, inside of textures, new folder, block. There we go, and inside of here is where we're gonna be placing our finished file. Okay, let's go back here to the packs folder. And we're all set now to get this thing set up. Let's close this down. We're done with that. While we're here, let's edit the pack MC Meta. Now, I like to edit my files in Notepad++. It's a free download. I'll put a link for that in the description. And it's a great code editing program. I'll just double click on that, bring this up. Here's our pack MC Meta. We need to do two things in here. One is to change the pack format to eight. Right there, that's for 118.1. Let's change what it says right inside here. Make sure you don't lose those quotation marks or that comma. I'll just call it custom 1181 texture pack. We're all set. Save that. And that's now done. We're all set to go. We now can go ahead and edit our texture block right here. 
and I'll be editing this in another free program called Paint.net. Great program for doing this kind of editing here of these little files. So let's open this up in Paint.net. There we go. And I'll put a download link for this also in the description. The easiest way to get an image in is just to drag it in like that and drop it and then just choose open. There we go. Now these are real small files as you can see. So you need to zoom in on that. I'll just grab the zoom tool right here and let's just make this a lot bigger. Now I want to have a bit more detail in here. You don't have to do this step, but it's nice. I'm just going to make this twice as big to get just a little bit more detail on that. So go up here to image, come down to resize. I'll set this to 32 by 32. So I'm doubling the size and make sure your resampling is set at nearest neighbor. That will keep all your hard edges. It will look good. Choose OK. Otherwise, it's going to go kind of soft and fuzzy. We don't want to have that. So there we are. And those are block size here. That's the original size. And they're now divided up into four pieces. That's our increased resolution on that. Now I have this new texture that I found online. This is just a photograph of some gravel. And I need to get this down to the same size. Now I want to have something square in here first. Just a square section. So I'll go up here. Let's just grab this rectangle select tool. And at the top up here, I want to have this at where it says replace. And I want to have a fixed ratio. I'll just make these numbers match like that. So that then gives us a square. And I can then come in here and just pull a square shape in just like that. There we go. I'll just put in about that much. And let's do edit copy. Let's make a new file. It's file new right here. It should come into the exact same size we just made that at. Choose OK and then edit paste. There's that piece that we copied in. Let's now change this size down. First use control D keyboard shortcut to deselect that. And then we'll go up here to image, come down to resize. And I want to get this down to the same size we had before. And that was 32. Just kind of shrink everything down. Leave it at nearest neighbor, choose okay. And we'll zoom in on that and see what we've got. There we go. Bit more interesting texture in here, bit more detail to it. Let's now go up here to edit and select all and then edit copy. Go back to our original texture here and edit, paste into new layer. There we go. So there's the original and here's our new version. A lot more interesting. I think we'll put some color on this too while we're at it. So go up here to adjustments, come down to hue saturation. And in here, you can adjust the color just by sliding this controller. I'll bring my saturation up a little bit, make it a bit more interesting. And I think right around here is kind of nice. Come get some purples in there. Maybe a little, just a little darker like that. And okay, so there we go. Much more interesting than the original, which is that kind of dull. More life to this one. And then Control D to deselect. We can now save this. I'll first save it as a paint.net file. So file, save, and I'll leave it in that same folder that we had right here. There we go. That allows me to come back in and work with this later on if I want to, maybe a different texture, whatever else I feel like doing, that's fine. And then we'll do a save as, file, save as. We're gonna save it as the PNG file. There's the original right here, that's the right name. And then go inside of Assets, Minecraft, Textures, Block. Save it right there, choose Save, choose OK, choose Flatten. We'll just close this down, nothing else needs to be saved. Let's now bring back up our working folder, which is right here. And we're all set to make this into a custom 118.1 texture pack. So we need the Assets right here. Hold the Control key down, Pack MC Meta and our Pack PNG. Let's now zip these together. Go up to the share tab right here, click on zip, and we'll just give this one a name. I'll call it custom texture pack. Let's now get this into the game. Bring this down just like that. Let's go back here to the launcher and then click on the folder again. Doesn't matter which one you choose, they're all the same thing. And in here, the score says resource packs right here. Take your new custom texture pack and just drag it up into here. There it is right there. We're all set to go. Okay, we can now close that down. Our texture pack is in the game and get this out of the way. We can now launch the game and see how it looks. So choose play again. I'm playing this in Optifine. They all use the same resource pack, so it doesn't matter which one you choose. Choose play. Okay, loading in right now. And here are on my custom title screen. If you want to find out how I did this, I have links for this in the description. And let's come down here to options and resource packs. There's our new custom texture pack right there. Just click on the arrow Bring it to the right hand side, that's good, choose done. Let that reload that texture pack. Done again, and then single player. Here's my main world. And let's see how that new texture looks. I'm gonna just grab that out of the inventory. There it is, and a site. Put that right here, and I'll place it right down there. There we go, real dramatic look on that one. 
much more interesting than the original. If you can make these anything you want, any picture you want, that's fine. It uses the exact same technique. You can do multiple textures if you want to. Just change all the blocks, put them all into the same texture pack, and you're all set to go. And I think that's kind of a fun new texture right there. And I'll see you next time.